Over the next few months, a selection of Nissan's youngest racing drivers will train for one of the world's toughest endurance races, the Dubai 24 Hours. will follow their highs and their lows as they attempt to make the grade in the world of professional motorsport. Unlike your average racer, there's one thing that makes these guys unique. They've all learned their craft on a PlayStation. This is Road to Dubai. Since 2008, GT Academy has turned PlayStation gamers into racing drivers. The world's top Gran Turismo racers and select the quickest, most promising driver to compete at the Dubai 24 Hours in a Nissan 370Z. Over the last four years, GT Academy has produced three professional racing drivers. 15 months ago, playing on PlayStation, I still to sort of wake up and think, well, I mean, I'm a, I'm a racing driver, this is, this is weird. It's really amazing and sometimes I still can't believe it. It was a fantastic prize and, you, you know, the opportunity of my life to, to become a racing driver. Graduates from the programme can boast first place in the Intercontinental Le Mans Cup, first place in the Blancpain Endurance Series and podiums in the Dubai 24 Hours and the most prestigious race of all, the Le Mans 24 Hours. GT Academy now is a genuine opportunity for somebody to fast track the whole motor racing ladder of progression and enter top class world motor racing in one jump. In 2012, the process started all over again, and the Academy invited gamers from 12 countries across Europe to take part in an online competition. Since I was a little kid, I wanted to be a pro racing driver. From over a million entrants, nearly 400 of Europe's fastest gamers were invited to the final. The opportunity is just going to grab a with both hands. From there, just 36 were selected for race camp at Silverstone. I didn't expect to come first. Third, maybe. It's just amazing. Our new recruits have just a week at the home of British Motor Racing to prove that they can race for real. To see that this can actually happen, it was sort of like finding out that Christmas is real. Stop, guys. Welcome to GT Academy. And this is going to be a really tough week for you guys. But it can potentially change your life. There can only be so one winner. On arrival, they were split into six different territories where they take on a range of physical and mental challenges. Each territory will be led by highly experienced driving mentors. The UK with Johnny Herbert and Rob Barr. And I'm shifting down, the back end's just snapping around all the time. France with René Arnoux and Frank Mayer. Italy with Gonzalo Gomez and Vita Antonio Liuzzi. Iberia consisting of Spain and Portugal with GT Academy's Lucas Ordenes and Danny Kloss. Benilux with Tim Coronel and Bas Linders. The combined territories of Austria, Switzerland and Poland, led by Formula One star Sebastian Buemi. The programme we have for the contestants at GT Academy is enormous. These guys, they come out of a lazy chair. So they have to be more active, I think. We'll push them to their limits, physically or racing a car. The real speed you cannot learn. You have it or you don't have it. At the end of the week, the fastest drivers from each territory will go head-to-head -head in a race at the World Endurance Championships. The winner will be selected for the 24 hours of Dubai. 
judges will be looking for a guy who is not only fast, but also physically fit and mentally equipped to take on the demands of an endurance race. Endurance racing is something unique in motorsport, says Franck Mayer. You've got to be able to think about your car. It's not a sprint race. You've got to finish the race if you want to, to win it. And you need a strong mind. And you need always to be focused. And there's pressure. You need to work on the pressure. Add into the equation cockpit temperatures. 55 degrees C in the car for two hours with a heart rate above 150 beats a minute. 24 hour race means you've got to be driving in the dark and you've got to be ready to, to, to drive at, at the limit in those conditions. It's a time where the brave drivers, they show what they know. In just a week, one gamer's life will change forever. So it's time to get them out onto the track. Guys, this is the first challenge. This is the benchmark. In the first test, the judges wanted to see the gamer's basic level of skill in a sports car around Silverstone's Stowe circuit. For many, it was the first time they'd ever driven on a real racetrack. It's quite stressful as you only get one fast lap. Uh, one stage I went to change gear and I got the windscreen wipers. As the pressure starts to build, that's when we're going to sort of see the real guy sort of coming out. This is quite hard, but you have one lap, you want to do well. If you spin, that's it, you know, you will have no lap time. Vous attaquez trop, tout de suite. Donc essayez d'apprendre un peu plus, et après... ...progresser vraiment vers la... A really, really good time around the Stowe circuit, driven by a race driver is about 60 and a half. So we've got anywhere between three and a half to six seconds. A big job to do, I guess. First time out in sports cars, the gamers are off the pace. So the judges decide to strip back on technical ability and take them karting to see their raw racing talent. Karting is the basics of racing. Pushing the throttle, braking, and steering. We're going to do two things. We're going to do a qualifying and a race. This challenge will have a big impact on who will stay and who has to go home. Only a few laps into qualifying, and already the judges are getting competitive over who had the fastest group of gamers. We are first. Sorry, I am first. Jack O'Neill. Qualifying done, the race gets underway. Billy yeah, yeah. Lux judges Tim Carnell, Baz Linders could see an early spute between the Belgian and Dutch competitors. And he's fighting for third. On the outside. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. We call that the penalty. He's uh, losing his uh, He's calm, he should stay calm and focus. Emotions running high, the judges feel the need to remind the boys of race etiquette. That was, what was not, not so good, what we saw. A little bit too much pushing, a bit too much blocking, too much waving around and saying you're crazy, etc. What you need to do in a race is stay calm. I'm sure you're not happy with each other here. No, I want to so, no, no problem, but okay. It's the race. After a tough first day, the gamers have to prove their natural racing skills with both physical endurance and car control being put to the test. Rallying is quite a different discipline to master because the grip level is very low. A little bit like driving on snow or ice. Brits were feeling a little nervous ahead of this new challenge. We're about to do the rally driving in this 370Z race car. This will be the first time I've ever done any sort of rallying. We're only going to get uh, three runs, one sighting lap, and then two timed runs. So uh, a lot of pressure. The grip levels are going to change every lap, every corner. As you get closer to the elimination, the last thing you want to do is not do well. It's a whole completely different driving style, so I'm looking forward to seeing what it's all about.
So we're well into the programme now and it really is starting to get more serious. You know, not knowing really where you're going, you definitely felt like a rally driver. There's not that script at all out there. A little bit of a moment on my first time run where I spun it in the puddle. Around the rally course, we place little cones, obstacles, tyres to replicate uh, tree stumps. And although in Dubai they're never going to encounter tree stumps on the road, one thing we do look for is pinpoint accuracy, lap on lap on lap. And if they can't negotiate around a cone or tyre, it gives us an indication of perhaps their awareness isn't what it should be. That was great fun. Wish I could have got a few more laps. It was uh, really enjoyable. I think I uh, may have uh, clipped the tyre. If that is the case, unfortunately, penalty. But uh, hopefully, uh, my car control will have um, been a help. So. These sets of challenges completed for now. The hard work of the drivers is over as the judges deliberate over their fate to decide who stays and who goes. So looking at taking our six down to four. The elimination series tonight is going to be really close. I don't think anybody's safe. They've shown good skills. They've got potential. It's hard for me to choose. I'm feeling very nervous. I got my fingers crossed that I'll go through. Can you show me, guys? After much deliberation, the judges have made their decisions. So it's time for the gamers to find out if they've made it through to the next round or if they'll be going home to their PlayStations. I gave it all, and uh, they were just better. Some passage, some yards. No for you, yards. Only the best go through. One. Coming up next time on Race to Dubai. From virtual to real, Nissan presents GT Academy Race to Dubai.